What's going on, Chasters? So, uh, Monday morning, the weather's picking on up. Sunny, not raining for once. That's what's up. Uh, doing projects today. I got some uh, light fixtures to switch. I got a faucet to change out. Bunch of crap for the beardless one. You fellas know how it is. But, uh, uh, waiting to hear from this guy about my trailer. He wants it. And he wants my carpet. So I gave him a deal. Because, like, I paid 1200 for the trailer. I'll take 1000 for the trailer. I feel like that trailer's made me enough money now that I'm not really that worried about it, you know? So I'll take 1000 for it. But then he was like, hey, I need some carpet. So I was like, i tell you what we'll do. Give me 1200 bucks, and you can have the trailer and all the rest of the carpet in the box truck. Because I really don't want to deal with anybody. So we'll see what he says. We'll seize what he says. I'm uh, on the way to the hardware store. i got to get a few things. But then, and only then, will I fix some things. <laughs> but before we go to the hardware store, definitely going to hit these uh, Thrift and the Pawn Shop. I've already heard from the Metal Retro Gamer. Sounds like he's picked up a few things today. So I might as well get out here and see if I can pick up a few things today. Kind of feel like I need a new gun. What do you guys think? So I've decided, before I try to sell this trailer, I need to see if I could put a car on there or fabricate it to where I can. So I'm going to test it out with the wife's car real quick. I've already done this before and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But I've done some measuring. Let's see. I think I scraped the bumper a little bit there. I scraped the bumper. Ain't gonna be able to test it out at this angle. Definitely not. But I think if I moved it over a little bit more, she would fit. Let's back up and see if I can't square it up a little better. I think like the wheelbase is just a little bit wide, but I think it'll fit. Just want to see if. I can, because I think I'm going to have to move the fenders off if I do do this. Alright. Let's see how that looks. I think it would fit. I think it would fit. Let me see if I can't get custom ramps built. Yeah. Well, if I cut that off, these will slide. Yep. <laughs> I definitely think I put a car on this. So I'm going to have to take my uh, fenders here. And at least cut this top part out and move it over. I might be able to like cut along here and slide it back. Hmm. I don't know. Food for thought. But I definitely think, yeah, because you see, see how the gate, this right here, is slid all the way over because it's uh, welded together. If I cut that, this would move. Mm -hmm. Got some metal rack. Not into digging all out today. Ain't got time, but we'll take this little guy. <laughs> Alright, so we stopped the GameStop. Didn't have time to dig. Appears somebody's already dig, dug, dug in there anyway. So it is what it is. I uh, had to get back home. Don't have a lot of time, but I have a lot of projects I want to try to do today. Uh, so we replaced that light yesterday, that fan yesterday. I did this 
well, the day before it, all LED, going all LED in the house. And uh, the beardless one convinced me to go back to Lowe's today and I'm doing this ceiling fan now. And I've got three more after this, which is stupid. But uh, not the reason we're talking right now. I uh, just had a truck pull up in my yard and uh, I was gonna shoot them because I don't like that kind. But then uh, it was an old man and old woman. And I remember the other day, I was gonna sell carpet to old man and old woman. They were supposed to come back, but then it's been raining nonstop tsunami style for the past week and a half. And it was them. So 100 bucks in the pocket for some carpet. Not bad. Uh, I think I gotta go this weekend, maybe. And uh, probably do another 40 bucks on a roll. 40, I think I told her 40, but they got a bunch of scrap too. So we'll kind of trade it off, equal off. I'm good with that. And uh, yeah, that's what we got going on. I'm gonna get a shirt that says that. That's what we got going on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get back on this light. We may go dumpster dive later. I think, I think, I think we talked about it yesterday, but you can't see out that window somewhere in here. The old trailer, I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna buy tires, I'm gonna move the fenders out break my ramp up. I may make it just attachable to where if I need it, I'll use them. If I don't, I take it off and I'm gonna enclose it, put siding on it somehow. But uh, yeah, that's what's up. We'll uh, talk to you. We'll talk to you in a minute, boys. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I feel like the king of the trailer park. I've never had something that I could just... That's too crazy. Too sick. Didn't even know this thing had a remote. Sick. I uh, just finished the other one in the other room. I might uh, might work on this one a little bit more because I'm not sure I like the balance of it, the way it's, I don't know, a lot of weird stuff that was done in this house. Check this out. While I'm complaining, we got two more to do. Uh, this room's our playroom, which is our computers and stuff and kids play games and stuff. That light right there, haggard. It's only held up with one screw. So apparently that box is destroyed, which sucks. Any of you guys ever changed out one of those boxes? Like I assume all you do is just change ooh, the lighting. Here's the other one I put up just now. Sick. But uh, any of you guys ever changed out one of those boxes? I've never done it. I assume you just get up there and swap the box and run the wires back through it. Golly, a little blurry there, are we boys? A little blurry there, are we? <sighs> anyway, that's what we got going on. Uh, I gotta finish cleaning up in here because I'm done for the day. I don't know, I might do the other one. I got at least one more I can do. But uh, I need to get out here and unhook my trailer because I gotta go to work tomorrow. <sighs> always something, always something to do. But not complaining because that is the life we ask for.